most notably you too. But my band is called Moon Alice. We play about a hundred shows a year in clubs and small theaters, mostly on the coast. We're musicians, not rock stars. Moon Alice was, first, was the first band ever to be broken on social networks. What broke us was 845,000 downloads and counting of a single called It's 420 Somewhere. We're the band that moodcasts every show live via satellite to thousands of fans on their iPads, cell phones, and computers. We're the band that has a unique psychedelic poster for every show. After four years, we've accumulated 371 images and counting by the likes of Stanley Mouse, Wes Wilson, and David Singer. Licensing those images is going to be one of our businesses. We're the band that offers the EP of the month for $5 every month. And we're the band that uses the latest technology to radically improve both the production cost and commercial value of content we produce. So you're asking me, so Roger, why are you here? Why now? I'm, I'm, I'm here because the world of technology sent me here to say we're sorry. You know, we've screwed up your life, and now we're going to fall on our sword. We're going to blow ourselves up, okay? The old guard, and I'm really talking here about Microsoft Windows and Google Search, is about to go through the kind of experience that we have all been going through for the last decade. Hundreds of billions of dollars in technology revenues are going to come into play. Hundreds of billions. The biggest beneficiaries of this disruption are going to be the people who suffered most under Google, especially the people who can create content that's really differentiated. For the past 12 years, and I don't know if you know this, but for the past 12 years, the technology of the internet has actually not changed. It's been static. And every tool, as you saw, was designed to commoditize content by eliminating differentiation. And of course, the most successful companies were those who managed to monetize content that was actually created by others. That's the world that Google won. Now, Google, along with Microsoft, is about to get a, a taste of what you guys have been feeling. Not so long ago, and I'm really saying, say, five, six years ago, Microsoft had a monopoly of Windows that gave it control of 96% of the devices that connected to the Internet. But thanks to smartphones and tablets, and I'm really saying the iPhone and the iPad more than anything else, Windows share of Internet connected devices is collapsing. It's fallen below 50%. And again, 97 to 50, they're still big, right? But that drop occurred in three years. And the result of it is that consumers are abandoning Windows as fast as they can. I expect businesses to follow suit. Economically, this is a huge deal. It's the biggest deal you can have in technology because that's where the money is. If corporations buy fewer PCs, they're going to save $1,000 every time they do so. And it's so much cheaper to support an iPhone and an iPad that I think a lot of companies are going to do that. And the reason they're going to do it is because the things that people need to do today, email, Facebook, Twitter, other internet applications, not only do not need a PC, they actually are more valuable on a mobile device like a phone or a tablet. Now, Windows decline didn't happen overnight. It's just been building up for a long time. I mean, Microsoft really peaked in 95. That's the year that they missed the internet the first time around. And then in 98, they let Google take over. You see, when Google showed up, the World Wide Web was a pretty wild place. Nobody was in charge. The prevailing philosophy was open source, which is code for free software. Google came in with a plan for organizing information in a way that treated everything as if it were equally valuable. To create order, they simply ranked pages based on how many people linked to each one. Well, look, what we all missed at that time, and me as much as anyone, was that by treating every piece of information the same, Google was enforcing a standard that permitted no differentiation in content. Every word on every Google page is in the same typeface. No brand images appear other than Google's. This action essentially neutered the production values of every high-end content producer, including those in music. The long tail took off, and the music industry got its ass kicked. 
Now, Google captured 8% of the index search business. It fundamentally controlled the advertising on the web as a result. But it also, their success, essentially filled the web with crap. So users started to use other products to find the stuff they wanted. Facts and Wikipedia, matters of taste on Facebook, Twitter for real-time news, Yelp for restaurants. It goes on and on. Realtor.com, LinkedIn. Each one is perfect for one or more kinds of search. And over the past three years, these alternative forms of search have gone from 10% of the search market to over half. This is bad for Google and good for us. And as if all this competition wasn't bad enough for Google, along came Apple. First with the iPhone, then the App Store, then the iPad. Google offers a fundamentally different version of the Internet from Apple, right? They're two completely different products. Google's about the long tail, open source and free. But Google's also the guy who had to remove 64 apps from the Android App Store because they stole confidential information. Apple, by contrast, is about trusted brands. It's about authority, security, copyright. In Apple's world, the web is just another app. It's called Safari. Now, people with iPhones and iPads just don't do Google searches the way people do on PCs. And the reason is if they want news, they have an app for that. They want to know which camera clock, they have an app for that. They want to go to dinner, they have an app for that. These are searches with significant economic value that doesn't go to Google, even on Android. So when Apple wins, Google's search business loses. And all I can tell you is, anytime Google loses, that's good for people who make content. 